early voting is outpacing past years in Minneapolis. And analysts think that could mean record turnout for an election that is being closely watched all across the country. There were lines today at the early voting center in Minneapolis. Election officials are concerned the voters may not know about some key rule changes. Esme Murphy is here to help explain them. In a brisk wind, Minneapolis voters waited to cast their ballots early. Uh, just a convenient, easy process. We'll get in, get out, and avoid the hassle on election day. Turnout is expected to exceed the 105,000 people who voted in 2017 in the last mayoral election. So far this year, 17,000 people have voted early, more than double the same time in 2017. And they took it out and said, I needed a witness. But voting has not gone smoothly for everyone this year. If I had just mailed it, I wouldn't have been accepted. Sheila McGuire ran into one of the rule changes. For 2020, the witness requirement was dropped because of COVID. Now it's back. If you complete all the steps, follow the instructions, you'll be fine. And that includes getting a witness signature. Another concern, you may be voting in a different polling place this year. Remember, back in 2020, a lot of polling places were consolidated because of COVID. The recommendation, check before you vote. A lot of people's polling places have moved. Everybody gets a, a little postcard in the mail saying that, but it could be easy to miss. Another issue is voters may think their ballots will count if it's been postmarked by Election Day. That was only for 2020 during the pandemic. It has to be received by Election Day. So far, 51% of absentee ballots requested have not yet been returned. As for Sheila McGuire, this election official provided a witness signature and she was able to vote. In Minneapolis, as May Murphy, WCCO 4 News. At this point, election officials say do not mail your ballot because there's no guarantee it will arrive by Tuesday.